what extraordinary times we're living in right now with so much uncertainty before us as we find ourselves facing something utterly unknown. I imagine that right now as you're watching this, you might be at home, perhaps with your loved ones or alone and different questions might be coming to you. Do I stay or do I go? Will I be able to come back? What happens if I fall ill? How can I best support those most vulnerable at this time? And then what happens after all of this? What do we go back to? How do we keep moving forward as a society and as individuals? Wherever you are, I'd like to offer you a short meditation today. A meditation that gives this epidemic a place but in our society and in our system so that we may listen to what it wants to say. This is a simple meditation that I use called Facing the Unknown. And I use it to dispel any fear or anxiety that we might feel when we're facing something that we are told is invisible, faceless, malicious, and utterly anonymous. So instead of giving in to those thoughts, that fear and anxiety, we can use this visualization to give this entity a place, to give it a name, and as we name it and see it, we can recognize what our bodily sensations and reactions are. How do we feel towards it? So that we can allow it to take its right size and not disempower us. And in this way, we can expand our tolerance towards fear, one breath at a time. So now I'd like to invite you to close your eyes, maintain a soft vision, or do whatever feels comfortable to you as you bring your gaze inwards. Noticing your breath. See whether you can deepen it. Allowing air to flow into your chest and your lungs, your belly. Notice any contact that you make with the ground through your feet, through your sit bones, 
perhaps on a chair or a bench. Allow your weight to drop and any load that you're carrying, be it physical, emotional or otherwise, you can set it aside for the time being, knowing that you'll be able to pick it up later at any time. And as any thoughts arrive, just gently put them aside. As to them too, you can come back later. There's nowhere you need to be right now, except here, in the present moment. What's it like to expand your awareness, to clear the field in your mind's eye, allowing your nervous system to settle? Can your outbreath be just a little longer than your in-breath? Letting go of anything that doesn't serve you at this moment. As you attend to you. I'd like you to think of a moment in your life, past or present, where you felt you were in the right place, where you felt you belonged. Where you felt safe. Perhaps it's somewhere in the world that you know. Or perhaps an image of a person or many people comes through. People that you call home. Your loved ones and your family. Let them come and take their place beside you and behind you as you form a little tribe of love, strength, and connection. And as you breathe, let this energy support you. as you bring your awareness to the ground beneath your feet, which also supports you. Not forgetting that the, this earth also offers you stability. as you are made of this place. And in your inner vision, in front of the earth you stand on, is a river. You listen to the sound of the stream, the rushing river of life. And with every breath, you take in all that gives you strength, wisdom, 
flow in your life. Noticing your spine and your lungs. Noticing the life force in and around you. And when you feel ready, well-supported, well-resourced, just gently lift your gaze across the river, scanning the waters to the other side of the river bank. Somewhere safely at a distance. Picture an entity a mass of energy of any shape or size, slowly emerging and just notice what happens in your body. As this new entity arrives, Perhaps there's tension, curiosity, alertness, or softening. Notice where you feel it in your body. Remembering your breath as you invite this energy to move outwards through your toes and fingers, with every breath you're able to move the energy within your body, energy that is never static and allows your body to do what it does best, self-regulate. Remember you're standing on safe grounds, on the side of a river that you know, that is familiar, And you're facing the other side of the river, which has something unknown and perhaps unfamiliar. You do not have to cross the river or find a bridge to get there, but simply acknowledge all that which is on that other side and simply see it. And I invite you to say the following. Your name is COVID-19. And my name is And as you say your name, and you say its name, COVID-19, what happens? What are you aware of in your body right now? Where is your attention drawn to? Check in with yourself in this moment.
And as you do that, check in where the entity across the river is standing. Does it have eyes? Does it have a mouth? Is it big or is it small? Does it have a personality or a color, a mood? Does it feel threatening or perhaps something else? And in this dream time, I invite you to ask it the following question. What do you want from me? What do you want from us? And just listen. Listen to anything that you might hear it say in this moment. How does your body respond? Is there tension? Is there a softening? Something else? Breathe deeply as you let air out of your lungs. With every breath, try to find an opening, a clearing. Lifting your gaze across the waters once more to this entity we call COVID-19. With kindness and with respect, I invite you to say the following. I am of this world and so are you. I may not understand you but I see you. I may not know you, but I am listening. I may not join you, but I have come to talk. And with that, allow any sensations, any emotions, any words or silence to arise, noticing any change.
perhaps you're aware of something new, or perhaps you'd like to turn around and walk away. But just for the time being, see whether you can stay just where you are and call on that support from earlier once more. The ground beneath you and your loved ones around you. Breathing deeply and slowly, bringing awareness back into your body. As you start to leave this dream time, you might have another glance across the river and see if anyone is still there, or perhaps this entity is long gone. If it feels right, say goodbye. And if your eyes are closed, see if you can let a little bit of light come in, just enough for colors and shapes to arise, a soft focus as you bring your awareness to your weight and to your sit bones once more the river of your spine and the cradle of your ribs. Perhaps there is more space within you now. Notice anything that feels different or new. And take some time to write down anything you saw, any realizations or revelations. Is there something that surprised you or that you weren't expecting? Just remain open to what may arise. I leave you now and wish you a restful rest of day.